Hi guys, in this video we will see how to use binomial uh, and Poisson commands to find the probability density function, probability distribution function and probability community distribution functions. Okay. Uh, let's go to okay first uh, I have taken some x values here in this SPSS. Don't leave this sheet empty. We should have some values, okay. We can give x values from 0 to 10, yeah, that's good. Uh, 0 to 10 or 1 to 10, whatever you want here, okay. Now go to transform, compute variable, and here the outcome, outcome of this property should be a new variable. So give this title here binom1 um this is the label and type can be given here binomial meal distribution one type let it be numeric and continue okay this variable now you know come here to this function group this function group this is not cumulative now we are going to analyze property um, mass function probably distribution function so downwards and then you will find pdf and non-central pdf select this one in the functions and special variables column there will be more functions opening up here select pdf dot binom double click this just one time when you click this one you will get some message in this box so it will be pdf dot binom and quantity x value and n and property you know binomial distribution has two parameters n and the property and x value should be given so if you give these three information in the commands, you will get the output. Okay. So now again go to the PDF dot binom. Double click this one. It will appear in the numerical expression box. PDF binom three question marks, isn't it? And the question mark first question mark should be replaced by the random variable x. Either you can directly give some value here, one or two. Uh, 3 or uh, directly some x values for one particular x value you can find property or if you want to find property for all values of x uh, select this x and uh, move it to the right side now the first question mark has been replaced by the variable x and then we should know uh, what exactly the n value and the property value for example uh, if you take n is 10 as x maximum value is 10 here isn't it and let the property be 0.5 property of success small p is 0.5 so if this information is given then this ok will be ready then select this ok optional case selection if you want to do it for only particular value of x you can do it here by selecting particular cases let's do it for all values of x now give ok so check this uh, one it is showing only two decimal places go to variable view increase the decimals to five digits or six digits now you will understand uh, the output we see it's not zeros there are some properties in every case and now this is uh, for x is actually actually x should have started from zero but it's okay for every x value we have a property here okay and now let us see this is just a property distribution function next we will see cumulative distribution function cumulative distribution in the sense if i have i will show you here if i have x values 0 1 2 3 up to 10 property of x for different property values are here p1 p2 p3 p4 and p11 then if i want probability of x is less than or equal to 5 i will have to add up to 5 i have to add all the probability up to 5 this is cumulative distribution function isn't it uh, this will be done uh, here in this case look at this one here all the x values are there you can do even for every value of x or some particular value Let's go to transform compute variable now reset this box this time it is not binomial property distribution function now we are going to cumulative cumulative 
binom binomial okay so very shortly we will write so we have to write two binomial okay now in the uh, case of label on type we will expand it cumulative binomial let it be numeric and then you continue now come to the function group select cdf where the cdf come out of cdf and non central cdf when you click it once it will appear here in the functions special variables you can again go to cdf binom where is it cdf binom is it appearing here one click will open the message about this command cdf dot binom uh, there will be three information we need what is x value quantity and n and the property okay the information is explained here but again click, double click will open this function in this numerical expression box now i am going to move this x to the first question mark for every x value you will get the community distribution and now we know in this, this n is 10 and the probability for this particular problem is 0 0.5 now everything is set uh, give ok you will see uh, one more variable and go to variable view increase the decimals into 5 or 6 decimals then you can find the probability community this is probability up to x is 0 and 1 this is isn't it? Prob uh, probability up to x is 2 cumulative cumulatively at the end all the property together becomes one probability so here 0 0.62 is the probability sum of these properties from zero it actually starts from zero okay uh, from zero to six now uh, five that is here in this way cumulative property column has been set up if you want a cumulative property for any particular number it is still possible okay this is the way binomial distribution can be calculated to solve some more problems and um, as per this uh, our class problem there are some more questions what is the way to find probability see probability of x greater than or equal to 4 this is the question so n is 10 and this small p is 0 0.5 isn't it so this is x greater than equal to 4 can be found by using this formula 1 minus probability of x less than 4 which is 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to 3 so we are going to use the command 1 minus cdf cdf binom binom x values 3 because cumulative up to 3 and the n is 10 0 0.5 this way we will work for x greater than or equal to 4 let us try it here ok go to transform compute variable reset new variable uh, cumulative, cumulative binomial up to x is x is bigger bigger than 4 bigger than or equal to 4 something the way you understand give title the way you understand just type this level it uh, by now cumulative binom x is greater than or equal to 4 g4 okay Mm, continue. Now, here uh, cumulative density function distribution function and CDF binom double click, you will get it here. The x values 3, you know, it is 1 minus, so select here, also 1 minus 3 and 10 and 0 0.5. This will give you probability of x greater than are equal to 4 ok now give ok you get a third variable over there again if you want to increase the decimals you can do it in the variable view and go to data view you will find it is just
just one answer but there are uh, 10 entries in x so it shows 10 answers okay. actually uh, all this could have been deleted this is your answer 0 0.82125 which is actually for x is uh, greater than or equal to 4 when you start counting from 4 to 10 this is the property showing here 0 0.828125 okay and uh, in other case in other case if you want to find a property property of uh, 3 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 7 it means that you should find a property of x up less than or equal to 7 isn't it and then subtract probability 3 is included in this so subtract the probability up to 2 it means here in this table if you go you want to find probability between uh, 7 uh, 3 and 7 3 to 7 so first you should uh, add all the probability up to 7 and then subtract up to 2 then the answer will be from 3 to 7 isn't it that's the way we write the formula here so this is cumulative probability cdf um, binom x n p minus cdf binom and x value is here as 7 here x value is 2 n p are known isn't it and this is the way we are going to work here for x is between 3 and 7 inclusive okay in that case let's see it here good so if you don't want um, this kind of output uh, okay we will go to transform compute variable reset binom simply make it binom cumulative 2 or 3 isn't it? 3 you can give label and anything so um, binom cumulative 2 cdf cdf binom x x value is 7 10 0 0.5 minus again double click cdf by now up to 2 we subtract and then 10 and 0 0.5 0, 0 0.5 now q ok you get a new column you know uh, so the new column will be here again two decimals are showing and go to variable view and change the number decimals to six then the data view can see a lot of information see we don't need this much information it is only for axis between three and seven including three and seven when you add the properties here from the three and seven manually you can try it will be 890625 okay and it shows uh, there are 10 outputs because there are 10 entries in the x otherwise it's, it's a matter of one value isn't it okay in this way you can try for this one this is your practice work if you want to find property of uh, 3 less than x less than 7 how to write the formula here you know 7 is not included so you can find the cumulative probability up to including 6 isn't it then 3 is also not included so subtract up to 3 probability of x less than or equal to 3 so this formula should be cdf binom 6 n p minus cdf binom 3 n and p n and p are given in this problem here so you try this way for this case okay thank you very much